Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials and welcome to today's quick math lesson, alright? In today's quick math lesson, we're going to be treating the topic completing the square method, okay? This is just a quick lesson to support you further in your math education, alright? And if this is your first time on this channel, DTW Tutorials is an educational channel on YouTube. We support students with free videos on maths and physics. We support you in your exams, that's your various exams like YEC your watts, your jam, post UME, NECO, GC, name it, will support you in your education. So if this is your first time, please try to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get instantly notified whenever we upload an educational video for you. All right, please subscribe to this channel just to support us and let us know you like what we're doing and you want us to do much, much more. Okay, and also try to share this this video with your friends, your kids, uh, colleagues in school, and your family. All right, and also give this video a thumbs up. All right, okay, so today's lesson is on completing the square method. Okay, where do you use completing the square method? You use it in quadratic equations where you can't, you know, you know, you the first step in solving a quadratic equation is about is to factorize it. So when you can factorize, the next method you use or another method you use is what completing the square method. Okay, so today's example, I'm going to be treating an example in today's video and the next video, I'm also going to be treating another example okay so in this example we're going to treat this as s squared minus 6x plus 7 equal to 0 okay this is an easy example okay in the sense that x squared doesn't have a coefficient all right if um, it had a coefficient there will be a particular step we have to take okay but let's let's solve this in the next video you understand what i mean all right so okay so the first step since x uh, the coefficient of uh, x is 1, that's unity, so we don't need to bother about uh, the first step. So the next step is to take our constant here. You know a constant is a number without a particular letter, alright? So our constant is what, plus 7, so we take our constant to the right-hand side, alright? So we have x squared minus 6x equal to, taking plus 7 to the right-hand side, remember the sign positive will change to what? Negative. So we have a negative 7 on our right hand side what's the second step the second uh, the, that's the third step i mean the third step is towards add the square of half the coefficient of x to both sides of the equation that's to the left hand side and to the right hand side so we're going to add the square of we're going to add the square of half the coefficient of x let's write this down okay you know when you speak you have to write down in maths okay so you understand so half okay of the coefficient of what x what's the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is what minus six so we're going to add half the square okay the square of half of the coefficient of what x and what would that be this would be what's half of that's multiple of is what multiply multiplication okay remember our square here so two here one and two in minus six that will give us what minus three so we have what minus three raised to the power what two so we're going to add minus three raised to the power two to both sides of the equation so what do we have here we have x squared minus six x plus minus bracket minus three raised to the power two equal to what minus seven plus bracket minus three raised to the power two okay so what's the next step to do now that's our fourth step our fourth step now is to take the squares all right from the left hand side and what we'll solve this arithmetic word operation here so what do we have here we have what's the squares on the on the on the left hand side we have x square okay and uh, plus minus 3 raised to power squared okay so here what do we have here if we to solve this we have minus 7 plus what is minus 3 raised to power 2 that is minus 3 times minus 3 which will give us what 9 a plus 9 okay so that's a plus 9 there and minus 7 plus 9 will give us what a 2 okay i hope we remember 
uh, signs the rules of um, arithmetic uh, operation on our signs a minus 7 plus 9 is 2 and if you don't remember you can watch a video I've done a video on understanding sign rules okay on the on my channel you can check that out all right so here let's simplify this further so this can be simplified since this is squared and this is square and we have a plus here and a negative here if we open up this bracket um, this uh, negative will cancel out this positive so we have what x minus minus 3 all squared equal to what 2 all right so we'll simplify this and our final step which is step 5 is to what square root both side okay do do the square root of what both sides that's we are going to find this the square root of this and also the square root of this okay so the square root of this side this square would cancel out this square root will cancel out the square so we're left with what x minus 3 and the square root of of a two that we're going to have what plus minus root two okay so from here we can further now some simplify to get our values of x so here we have x taking minus three to this side we have x is equal to what three plus taking minus three the minus will change to what's positive okay plus or minus root two okay so from here we can further break this down as what x is equal to 3 plus root 2 or 3 minus root 2. So from here, what is root 2? We have 3 plus root 2 is what? 1.414 or 3 minus, what's root 2? 1.414. Okay. And what is 3? What is 3 plus 1.414? We're going to get what? A 4 point four let's say we are approximate to what one decimal place or and what is three minus one point four one four we're going to get a what one point six so our answer is x is equal to four point four or 1.6 okay so this is how simple completing the square method is all right so see you in the next video where i'm going to treat another example with our uh, x square having what a particular coefficient all right so thank you for staying tuned to destined to win tutorials remember jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ you are destined to win bye